Faddle, faddle, what? Faddle? What a faddle. Hello, fellow. That's what I'm trying to say. Hello, fellow pedal nerds. Who will be disappointed because we're talking about an amp? You, Mr. 64. I want pedals. Well, this is an amp. Sounds cool, too. And we're going to talk about pedals as well. So stay. Um, I know my fans. So we have the Engel Rockmaster here, which I've been playing around with for quite a while. Uh, getting feel for it, getting to see how I can present it to you. Well, it's pretty damn simple. That thing rocks your fucking cock off. Because it says Rockmaster, and it is the Rockmaster. It is not the Jazzmaster. It is not the slightly crunchy uh, indie master. It is the fucking Rockmaster. And as that, it is, you can turn the video off right now, highly recommended. Wow. Angle is... <sighs> Let's put it this way. You always feel, some people feel, Engel is a colder, harsher sound. And I just had a guy here who knows his shit. Who's like, yeah, no, Engel, not my thing. I'm like, wait a second. And I hooked this thing up and I hooked up the Metal Master video coming. And he was like, okay, okay, you got me. That's cool. So we have, let me, let me show you some stuff here. We have two channels, clean. There's a gain for that. And lead, there's a gain for that. Three thingy something, three band EQ uh, shared between the two channels. We have a reverb, which is neat. Uh, a lead volume, which is separate to the, to the clean. There's no extra clean volume. A master and two switches. And in that regard, it is, it's exactly the same as the metal master. Um, obviously voiced differently. And here, the Metal Master has a mid-cut for that mid-scooped sound. Here we have a mid-boost for that screamy, leady kind of mid niceness. Uh, and switch between the two channels. On the back, as you've seen in the pictures, there are different speaker out configurations. One of them can actually be uh, load boxed, meaning power attenuated, down to, I don't know, Four power, which is 20, and then five, and then one, and then zip. So you can actually run this without a load, without a speaker, and run only the frequency compensated output, which is pretty damn cool. That is neat. Uh, everything is switchable. On the back, there's two stereo inputs for switching, meaning you can switch the channels, reverb on and off, uh, mid boost uh, on and off, and I think that's it. Um, so that can actually be, if you have a looper switcher with uh, trigger outs, that can be fully programmed so you can do all the switching uh, and incorporate that into your sounds. The amp clock's in it, I think right now, 800 bucks, 799, something like this, and it is pretty much a steal for that money. One of the problems, it's rocking your cock off, but clean is not really its thing. Uh, with, with a lot of amps, they they don't respond well to guitars with a little bit more input, so even a humbucker is going to push this thing. And we're going to check this out right now. Um, I'm pumping this into the Torpedo Live. That's what you're hearing with the 412 1960 cap um, impulse response. But we're also going to check out the uh, frequency compensated direct out, which isn't too shabby. It's okay if you really just need to take it to a gig, plug it into your board, it's going to be okay. It's not mind-blowing, but it'll do the job if you have to. Um, probably better some, than some miking techniques that some engineers or you might be able to do. Um, what else? In the effects loop, I've got the Strymon Brigadier. Totally freaking dirty for some analog delay goodness for lead sounds. And very, very important, as you can see on the top camera there, I have an orange thing here. That is the Evolution Orange from Mad Professor. That's the underdrive. And that is the kicker to get this amp to do a lot more than it can do by itself. So we're going to go into it with the Vantage 57 from Frank Hartung Guitars. That is an extremely nice guitar. Very, very traditional LP type guitar. But we're also going to check out the Maybach with single calls just to see how it responds. And here we go. That's my clean sound. With gain at 9 o'clock, or in this case, what they call 2. It's not 
Too shabby, it's relatively round, it's already breaking up a tiny bit. You could use that. Reverb's nice. I'm dirty. You. It's not a jazz amp. You could get away with it, maybe. It's definitely a nice round tone. The amazing thing is, they shouldn't call this clean. They should call it rhythm and lead, because that's really what this thing does. Check this out. And there we are right in the ACDC territory. It's even too much. Let's crank up. It's beautiful breakup and more just rock. tones that is enough that's all you need Saturated just what you want from your classic rock sound. It sounds kind of like the blown up amps of yesteryear. Let me crank my speakers up because I'm having fun right now. Fuck it! <laughs> So yeah, the clean channel on the Rockmaster is your rock aggregate, as we would say in German. Your rock, uh, I don't know. This is very, very British, if you ask me. It's eight, it's 84s. I mean, all these little amps have 84s. I don't give a flying rat's ass. It's got that eek. <laughs> Fucking killer. But not a clean sound. How do we get it clean? <laughs> Very simple. We engage the underdrive from Mad Professor, which pretty much does this. It thins out the mids, pushes the amp a lot less, and makes it clean. It actually freaking works. It's ridiculous. Reverb in there. Get a nice rhythm sound back. <laughs> 
engage the underdrive. So with that pedal, you actually get another channel from your Rockmaster. And it's, it's not a shabby clean sound. It's not a twin, but it's not horrible. <laughs> So there's the solution, yes, you're gonna have to fork over the money for the pedal, but if it's not clean enough for you, that can totally solve it. Let's go to the pièce de résistance, the lead channel, which is really what it should be considered as, because rhythmically, rhythmically, as far as rhythm sounds goes, the clean channel gives you everything you need in rock, okay? Now we go further with the game, which is really metal territory, if you ask me. Get the reverb down. It kind of picks right off where the clean channel left you off. It picks what it, yeah. for anyone who can tell me what that riff is. fucking voiced i'm sorry eq section is just wow a lot of stuff you can do there and now let's engage the mid boost <laughs> perfect for leads which is where we're going gonna put in some reverb gonna put in some brigadier and let her fly <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> well, if you ask me when it comes to lead sounds, it doesn't really get an awful lot better than that. I mean, behind this thing is a Soldano, which is the king of lead amps. And really, this is voiced differently. I would say this has a little bit more bite, but it is it sings, it creams, it can cut with the treble uh, built in. I mean, wow. When it comes to lead sound, this is the beast. As for rock rhythm, this is already way too much gain, if you ask me. It is, it's just a beast. For rhythms, stay with the clean channel. Um, you could push this into metal territory, but more classic metal, where you had those mids, classic Aussie, all the 80s stuff that was very mid-rich. So this is probably your 80s metal amp, 80s metal master. Um, the Metal Master, the, the other one uh, up there, is actually more modern metal with the mid-scoop, which we didn't do in the 80s. What do you mean, we? Yes, I was alive there. I didn't play guitar there, and some of you might have, and a lot of you probably are way too young to even know what the 80s are. Holy crap, hola. I'm gonna go quickly hook up some single chords for you. This is not tuned or anything, so whatever. Maybach Telemann, beautiful guitar. You can see it's it's pushing it a little bit. You can probably get better clean sounds with the single coil guitar. Nice, some reverb. Pushing it less definitely helps. Now, obviously, I can push it more. And use the Evolution Orange Underdrive again to crank that down. That down? I don't know. Dial it down. Let's go. the quality of your guitar um, even at the high gain settings I mean this was all single coily it was all jangly it was all telly Ooh, I, oh I mean uh, T style um, killer let's go and record the direct out for you my nizzles no dizzles. And see what that sounds like. Oh. So that's the frequency compensated direct out. Mm -hmm. 
the other drive the cleaner the better those direct out are direct outs are because you can hear it in the high end uh, usually where it gets fizzly okay if you really need it for a gig. Here's my two cents. So folks, what do I think? Engel, Rockmaster, Rock! Uh, uh, rock, how do you do rock? I don't know. Are you ready to rock? Master. Uh, 800 bucks, so it's a not beginner amp, but an amp that really is in the price range for any aspiring guitar player, any guy, any guy in a band, to be affordable, 800 bucks is totally acceptable. Um, 20 watts will make it loud enough for you to cut through a band. It's probably too loud for most situations. You can get it down to 5 watts, which means it will break up a lot easier. Uh, but, no, no, wait, that's... Is it behind? Yeah, that's probably behind the power amp, so it'll still break up the same way. Um, it's not reducing the watts, it's just cutting it down in volume, I think. Uh, but one watt is killer for home. You can actually get those sounds at bedroom level. And then turn it off completely, uh, frequency compensated out into your headphones or whatever, or into your uh, console. Maybe even run it through some kind of speaker simulation on top of that and get even better sounds. The sounds are killer. The clean channel is limited in terms of how clean it can get. But obviously there's solutions, like the underdrive from Matt Professor, killer solution. If you really want cleaner sounds, which come on, you're rocking, you're meddling. Come on, are we pussies? Are we playing clean? That one intro that we play, that, those two intros that we play in that one interlude where you need clean, just roll back your volume and you're good. If not, get a different kind of clean sound with the underdrive, set your clean channel to rock and your lead channel to scream in leads. Um, use the built-in effects loop for your effects. I don't really see a situation where I'd say, you know what, uh, is, this, is this pedal friendly? That's the question. Is it friendly to boosts? Very likely. Um, is it friendly to your tube scream and other overdrives? Yes, it is. You will have to get the clean channel to be that round, slightly break up -y, um tone. But I don't really see that being necessary. It has a great rhythm sound, it has a great lead sound. If you wanted it to be screaming it up, you can do it, but I don't see that as being super necessary. I think this amp, a couple of effects, uh, don't not even a reverb, make, this, make the reverb switchable, you don't even need a reverb. A good delay in the effects loop, maybe a flanger phase, a funga, flingy flanger, uh, a chorus, whatever, you, I, I, this can be a cool amp that will get you what you want the rock sound, it's called the rock master. This isn't meant to be incredibly flexible. This is gonna rock your socks off. Meaning, Tube Screamer, Delay, that amp, maybe the underdrive, maybe a chorus, and that's all you need. 800 bucks, Engel, you kicked my ass with that one, and I'm not just saying that. Thanks, guys. Metal Master review coming whenever I'm filming it. See you, people. <laughs>